Illustrative math, unit two, lesson four is called con congruent triangles, part two. All right, so our goal today is I can construct a congruent triangle without knowing all three pairs of congruent angles and all three pairs of congruent sides. So remember, if you have two congruent triangles, you have three pairs of congruent angles, three pairs of congruent sides, a total of six congruent parts. So here's what we're going to do for the warm-up. We're going to try to draw um, this triangle here. And really, everybody, if we were in class, everybody would be doing this, and it, we would all end up with the same um, triangle. So what you're going to see is you don't need every piece of information to draw it. Okay, so let's start out. Let's make angle A is 40 degrees. So I'm going to maybe start out right here. I put an arrow there because I haven't measured a length yet. Um, and then I'm going to put my other ray right here. And I put my protractor right there. So 40 degrees somewhere right there. Okay, so there's angle A. I'll put a little A right here. Okay, um, so I'm going to highlight that as I go. Angle B is 20 degrees. So maybe if I come over here and I make that 20 but maybe I should find the length of segment AB first. So AB is 5 centimeters. So maybe if I do that, AB is 5 centimeters. So that's good. I can get rid of the, um, I can get rid of the ray here. So there we go. So there's that piece. And now let's measure, um, let me put a B here so that we know that that's B. Let's measure this angle. Angle B is 20 degrees. So I'm going to go back to my protractor. I'm going to put it right there. So 20 degrees would be right there like that. Um, I guess maybe I should have put an arrow on there. Okay, so obviously this is where they intersect. Um, let me mark that angle B is 20 degrees. And what you notice is we now have our triangle here. Okay, let me move this. Um, obviously my triangle is right here. It's, you know, this. this triangle right there, okay? So um, A, B, and then I guess this would make that C up here. So um, you can tell I didn't need to use all six pieces of information. But if I checked them, I bet you they would all work out. So like, let's look at A, C. Is it, is A, C two centimeters? So I'm going to put that right there. And sure enough, you can see, oh, cool, A, C is two centimeters. And it says B, C is 3.7 and you can tell right there one two three point seven okay so it looks like it worked out i could probably measure angle c and that would have to be 120 or you know it's going to be 120 because these two are 60 if you add them up 180 minus 60 is 120 so it worked out cool so anybody else that drew this in the class they might have used different pieces of information but they wouldn't have had to use all, all six pieces of information and they would have got the exact same congruent triangle. So I guess that poses the question, what are the shortcuts? What shortcuts are there? Um, which specific sides or specific angles can we use? So here's a triangle here. Now I redrew them here because this wasn't drawn to scale with my ruler. So like, you know, if I like measured this here, this it says 2.4, but you can see it's like 5. So I re-shrunk it down, so that's about 2.4 right there. You can kind of tell. Um, so what's the least amount of information you need to construct your partner's triangle? So I would say you need a total of three pieces probably um, between the sides and the angles. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to try just drawing the sides. So I measured a 2.4, and then I'm going to come down here. I'm going to measure another... Um, a 1.9. And then I'm going to make another one here. 
at another 1.9. I hope I went too far. So if I take those three sides and just, you know, put them together, I didn't know any angles, but will they fit together to give me the same triangle? Kind of tricky to put them together here. <laughs> if I put them together on here, that'll make it a little bit easier. If I was doing this in class, I would probably have you use like straws or, um, you know, sticks or something that 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 you could put together but there you go okay so they did fit together and i didn't even measure a single angle all right you can see there that that this these are congruent and i didn't measure a single angle all right so uh what we needed here was three sides okay i didn't touch an angle but i, I did get the same triangle okay um, so here we go. The next thing is we're going to construct a triangle that's congruent to your partners. What's the least amount of information you need? So this time I'm going to tell you what I want you to do. I want you to do two sides and one angle that's between the two sides. Okay. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to pick the two sides. I'm going to use the, the two and I'm going to use the 3.75. And I'm going to use the 90 degree angle because I think that'll be easiest to do. So I'm going to draw, let's see here, here's my side length of two. I'm going to measure my 90 degree angle. Uh, let's put it, uh, let's put it over here. I put an arrow on it because I haven't measured the length yet. I just measured the angle. And then this side would be 3.75. So I probably need to take my ruler right there and and I'll tell you what, I'll just run it right along here because I know it's on there. Oh wait, hold on. Say what? I'll just take this. Right about there. I'll get rid of this ray. All right. So then, obviously, if this is 90 here, if I mark this here as 90, um, I'm going to have to connect these two together because these lengths do not change. So there we go. All right. So let's do this. Let's take this and let's see if it's the same. Probably going to need to reflect it. Whoops. I didn't mean to do that. And sure enough, it worked. They're exactly congruent. So two sides and one angle between them, we call that side angle side. You notice we wrote the A between the S's. All right. All right, here's another one. <clears throat> Construct a triangle that's congruent to your partners. What's the least amount of information you need? Okay, so three sides and no angles. So... Again, I measured this out to be 3.9. So I kind of already did that earlier, but um, we'll do it again. So I'm going to measure here 3.9. 
And then I'm going to do another one. I'll just move it a little bit. 3.6. And then 3.2. So those are my sides and I can put them together anywhere, but just because the way that it, it makes me turn these, I'm going to, I'm going to do it right here. I'm just going to put them together on top of the triangle. Oh, wait, which one was that? That was the 3.2. There's the 3.9. Oh, no, wait, no, that was a 3.6, I think, actually. Looks a little too long. And there it is, okay? They fit together perfectly fine on top of there. Um, and again, I put it together on top of the triangle to make it a little bit easier, but three sides and no angles. So that's a shortcut too. We didn't have to measure an angle. All right, this time we're gonna do two angles and the side between them. That was kind of like what I did on the warm up. I did two angles and the side between. So let's do this here. This is um, 3.2, 143. And 21. Let's do, I'm going to do these two. I'm going to do the 16 degree angle, the 21 degree angle, and then this is the side between it. So I'm going to maybe come down here. Whoops. I'm going to start out by measuring my 6.8. And then I'm going to measure my angles. So and then I'm just going to find where they cross. So 16 degrees, right about there. And then I come over here, 21 degrees. And there it is. And let's take a look here. Maybe take this one over here and move it over. Or maybe Take this one. Take that. Move it. I think I got to reflect it because I think my sides are. I think my sides were flipped. So let me see if that fits a little bit better. Oh, there we go. So there it is. Okay. So again, two angles on the side between them. We're going to call that ASA. Notice the side is between the angles. They call it like a angle side angle sandwich. Think of the angles like the bread and the, the side is, is in between them. Okay. All right. There's one other one that there are two other ones that I did not do. Angle angle side would be kind of like this. You have two pairs of congruent angles and then a side that's not in between them okay but we did this we did this we did that angle angle side would be um you know you, you have two angles and then the side that that's not in between and then the other one is hypotenuse leg if it's a right triangle you only need the length of the hypotenuse which is the long side opposite of the right angle and a leg, which is one of the sides that makes up the right angle. So if you if you know it's a right triangle and you have the hypotenuse um, and a leg congruent to another hypotenuse and a leg, then you can say the triangles are congruent. Okay, so if you want to, um, 
you know, pause the video and record this um, or write this down or whatever. Um, these are the triangle congruence shortcuts. So I'll write it down here. Triangle congruence shortcuts. Okay, and when I say shortcuts, I don't need to find all six congruent parts. I don't need the three pairs of sides and the three pairs of angles. I can I can just do, you know, three sides or two sides and the angle in between them and so forth. All right, Jade and Tyler, we're playing the info gap using card three. Tyler asked, can I have two sides and an angle? Jada told her that one angle was 16 degrees, one side was five centimeters, and one side was four centimeters. Here's the triangle Tyler made. Is Tyler's triangle congruent to the triangle on the data card? All right, you can clearly see that these are not the same triangle, so this is obviously no. It doesn't ask me to explain why. I'll just put no, they are not congruent. Did Tyler do anything that didn't match Jada's instructions? Um, no, he followed, the, he followed them. But um, how could he be more specific? He needed to ask where the sides and angles were. He did a side-side angle. He did two sides and then the angle on the outside um, when he needed to do you look up here at the, the picture, here's the, four, five, 16. He needed, um, he needed a different angle. He needed this angle, okay? Um, I shouldn't say he did side, side angle. I, was, I should say she gave him He needed to have side angle side, needed the angle in between the two sides. Okay. All right, so triangle congruence criteria. Um, these are the five that we had. You got angle side angle. So it's two angles and the side between them, side angle sides, two sides and the angle between them. Side 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 is all three sides. Angle, angle side is two angles and a side that's not between them. And then hypotenuse leg, a hypotenuse and a leg of a right triangle. Hypotenuse is alongside. Uh, the legs are the two sides that make up the, the right angle. All right, here's another one. Andre and Lynn were playing the info gap. Um, using card three, Andre asks, can I have all three angles? Lynn told Andre that one angle was 16, one angle was 143, one angle was 21. Here's the triangle that Andre made. Is Andre's triangle congruent to the one on the data card? Well, let's check. Oh, hang on, I gotta redo that. All right, so we'll do a rough trace, and um, I think it's a little too small. Now, granted, my, my tracing is terrible, but it, it definitely looks a little small. So I would say no, it's not congruent. Hopefully you do a little better job with your straight edge and pencil and tracing paper. Um, he would need a side that's between one of the angles. Since he has all three angles, any side would work, but or side, I guess, outside of the angles, really. So 
So he would need AAS or ASA. Right now he has AAA, which is not one of the ones on our list. So if I look here, I don't have an AAA. So you can, you know, make sure you understand that AAA is a no. Um, what else was a no? Um, SSA, that's a no. Um, spells a bad word backwards, so that's how I always remember that that's a no-go. Um, so those two are not, not acceptable shortcuts. All right. All right, so that's it for Lesson 2.4. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed this video, and uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.